In this problem, we're going to take a look at how to find the mean and standard deviation from a binomial probability distribution. Now, for these types of problems, we cannot use stat crunch to find the mean and the standard deviation. We actually have to work this out by hand and use the formulas, but luckily the formulas are not too difficult. It says, assume that different groups of couples use a particular method of gender selection and each couple gives birth to one baby. This method is designed to increase the likelihood that each baby will be a girl. But assume that the method has no effect. So the probability of a girl is 0.5, which is 50% chance. Assume that the group consists of 50 couples, complete parts A through C below. So first it's asking us the value of the mean. Now let me just open up a whiteboard real quick. Okay, so now to find the mean, the formula for finding the mean, it's n times p. So it's the sample size times the probability of success. So mu, this is equal to n times p. So our n in this case, the sample consists of 50 births. So it would be 50 times, and then p, which is the probability of success, which is 0 0.5. Now 50 times 0 0.5 gives us 25. So our mean here is 25. Now the standard deviation, the formula is the square root of n times p times q. So remember, the uh, q is the probability of failure. So let's go ahead and plug in our information. So I have n, which is the sample size, which is 50. And I have times p, probability of success, which is 0 0.5. Well, if the probability of success is 0 0.5, then the probability of failure also has to be 0 0.5. So probability of failure will be one minus the probability of success. So one minus 0 0.5, that gives us a 0 0.5 for Q. Now I go ahead and type this into my calculator and that will give us a standard deviation. So I have the square root of 50 times 0.5 times 0.5. This gives us, what does it even tell us around two? We'll worry about rounding in a second. So this gives us 3.53. I'll put 5.5. So let's go ahead and type in these results. So mean, we found out it was 25. Okay, it's standard deviation. So round to one decimal place, so this would be 3.5. Try that again, there it goes, so 3.5. And now it says use the range rule of thumb to find the values separating results that are significantly low or significantly high. So remember range rule of thumb, so first it's asking us what values are considered significantly low. So that would be the mean minus two times the standard deviation. Okay, so using the range rule of thumb, so mu minus two times the standard deviation. So this would be 25 minus two times 3.5. This gives us 25 minus seven, which gives us 18. So 18 girls or fewer would be considered a significantly low amount of girls. Now, let's figure out the number of girls that would be considered significantly high. Well, now we take the mean and add two times the standard deviation. So this would be 25 plus two times 3.5. So this would give us 25 plus seven, which gives us 32. So 32 girls or more, that would be considered significantly high number of girls. So let's go ahead, type these answers in, make sure that we did it correctly. So values of 18 girls or fewer are significantly low. Perfect. And then values of 32 girls or greater would be considered significantly high.